Hello and welcome to this basic guide for Mr. Brad Wong. I must warn you though, he can he can be a bit of a rabbit hole character. Just because he has so many options out of so many of his moves, I try to to condense you know standard uh, basic playstyle with just like you know you know fundamental buttons. Uh, so hopefully this works out. <laughs> Long range attacks. He doesn't have many, much less attacks that reach a far distance. This would be about like your long range distance at, at about this uh, at about this distance right here. So, so yeah, it's forward forward punch, which could also lead into a combo with a forward punch punch. And right here, you see him sway uh, to the left. After you see him sway, you can do punch kick with a launcher. And then after the punch kick, you just press kick one more time for some good damage and some wall carry. There's also a forward HK. You can get a down kick from that as well. For a legit two hit combo. And although not an attack per se, the up back punch is in the movement option of a backflip, you know, to kind of create space, maybe avoid uh, an opponent's wake up attack, or just to create space. Mid range attacks holding down forward and then pressing punch will get you this strike that allows for a combo follow up with the kick button. He'll end up on the floor, and if you notice, when he lands on the ground, there's he throws up like a cloud of dust. Every time you see that cloud of dust, you can press kick once more for the next follow up. So there's another cloud of dust right there. So let's try it again. I've been waiting too long. There we go. And then the after that second cloud of dust, he will launch them, where you can follow up with three more kick attacks. And after that, he ends up in a back turn state, so you can just kind of get out of that with just slapping H. Down back kick. Press consecutively three times will get you. Not a legit combo, except for those last two hits, if you land it, that second one. But it's uh, it allows for a mix-up. If you do down back kick twice, or you, you do down back kick and then you let the your control stick go for the second kick, he'll do, he'll do that second strike. If you press it once more after that, you'll get uh, a two hit out of there. The difference between these and the and this one, this variation, is that the second strike hits mid. So if they're if they're consistently blocking these lows, you can mix them up with the low mid, which uh, hits crouching opponents. And then after that. You can do a down kick for to continue the combo, and it'll put him in a state where this is kind of where the rabbit hole starts to deepen. So I'll I'll just touch like on a few options. This man has so many options. Um, when he's in this state, after a said uh, knockdown, you can go for X or throw button to grab or you can do regular kick for a wake up attack where you can get a simple combo after that with the kick button and say you do land the kick button attack which 
to just kick, kick, kick. If you press down punch and kick, you'll continue to you'll actually land that last hit, and it'll put you in this state like once more. If you don't want to go for grabs or or a wake up kick attack, you can always just press the the hold button to get you up, or you can you can tap the back button to create space. You don't always have to attack, but uh, you don't want to stay on the ground for too long because uh, he is vulnerable. The back punch is a command dash of sorts. Uh, puts him in a crouching state. But the follow up attack would be punch and then kick. And then from here you would do quarter circle forward punch. For some good wall carry, decent damage. Puts your character on the ground though, so get back up, just tap hold. Or just move forward as well. Or back. Pressing down forward, down forward, kick. Will get you that. But if you press kick twice. And then down kick, you'll be in a position where uh, you can attack your opponent from the ground. With either grab a kick or just get back up off the ground yourself. Create distance forward K, press twice, and then down K will give you a basic three hit combo at the mid range. Forward kick will put you, excuse me, forward forward kick will put you directly on the ground in the prime position to do a grab, wake up kick attack, uh, whatever you feel would be necessary to the situation. Down H and K would be my go-to uh, poke for the the mid-range neutral game just because it, it starts up pretty quick, hits low, and it has really good range. H and K covers the mid-range perfectly. If you press it consecutively three times, you'll get a basic three-hit combo. You will end in the back turn state though, so if you don't want to be there when it's when it's done, remember to press that hold button forward punch and kick press twice covers a mid-range uh, perfectly as well and gets you some good uh, wall carry it's a basic uh, break blow combo uh, holding down forward pressing punch and then punch kick followed by forward S Basic wall combo, you would do holding down forward and then press punch twice. And then forward punch punch. Let's say you get a knockdown from forward kick kick, you can go for some hits that'll do a little bit more damage. Though they're not guaranteed if the opponent techs. Right. Or, uh, wakes up right there's up punch but you end up on the other side though keep that in mind or you can do up punch and kick puts you on the same side has the most damage out of the two but it's the slower one and now for a brief introduction into some of the options mr. Wong has when he's on the ground in this uh, pose you can get there manually with down punch and kick or you can get there with forward forward kick as part of an attack. So tapping up twice or down twice moves him uh, into the foreground or the background. So there's a movement options right there. You can also uh, double tap forward or backwards to move him back into a standing position or to move him forward into a standing position. You can also keep him on the ground after you roll him forward or back by pressing say you want to roll him back and then keep him on the ground you'll do back back and then down. And when you press down you would be holding the button down. Same thing for rolling forward and staying on the ground as well. You 
just have to make sure you hold it uh, down as soon as possible after you do the dash. You're also able to just press hold to get up on the spot. It does take somewhat of a time to get back up, so you probably are vulnerable during this stage, just uh, as, as a forewarning. If you're trying to get up on the spot. His back throw will put your opponent in a back turn state and put you on the other side. You can use that to escape corners or to start a uh, mix up of sorts where you can uh, either follow up with another throw and just throttle the daylights out of them. And notice how they're still in a back turn state. Well, <laughs> still vulnerable to attacks as well, which is nice. Or you can also do down forward punch punch. And if you have the the, the break blow, you can go under break blow too. Or just a simple punch kick after down forward punch punch. His regular throw puts you at the mid range on wake up also his forward throw will put you at the long range to give you space and now for some CPU matches to see some of this stuff in action Oh no, I missed that last one. Holy crap, she broke that grab. Ooh. I thought I could go on the stance so while I was on the ground, and I wasn't wrong. But man, was I. He actually hit me with that break blow. It was crazy. Good to know. Vulnerable indeed. Okay. 
What's going on here? <laughs> that was cool and random. <laughs> Don't know how that happened, but okay. Is Mr. Brad Wong. On a side note, I did not know he was a uh, Chinese, <laughs> which is funny because his last name is Wong. So you would think that that kind of he at first glance he I, he didn't like Chinese to me. I don't know, maybe it was the hair. But yeah, apparently he's from he's from China or something. That's that's crazy. Anyways, uh, so yeah, he this man uh, this man can get deep. But I mean, I tried my best to kind of simplify, you know, his simplify this character as much as possible. So, you know, anybody can pick him up and play him on a pretty, you know, basic standard level without falling too deep into the rabbit hole. But yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.